Good afternoon, colleagues. Uh, I want to start off by saying thank you for giving me your time to propose my initiative that will hopefully help a gender bias issue that is happening in many schools across our states, across our country, and unfortunately within our school today. So I want to just jump right into it and look at some statistics to start off with. So here our statistics are telling us that girls are 19% less active than boys. Girls' hand-eye coordination is 44% worse than boys. Only 14% of girls have mastered the kick and the overarm throw by the time they reach secondary school age, compared to 53% of boys. So that's a pretty drastic difference of people that are reaching secondary school age and have mastered the kick and the throw. Australian girls exhibit poorer fundamental movement proficiency than boys in general. So you might think, oh, if they can't kick or throw, is that really life-threatening? Well, it can have an impact in their life. Uh, we know that when students and children start performing fundamental movement skills like the kick or the throw, overarm or underarm throw, when they start practicing them from a young age, primary school or even beforehand, they're more likely to master that skill. So therefore they're more likely to feel confident in that skill. So then again, they're more likely to engage in sports that you need that skill for. And when they're confident in sports, they're going to keep being active and keep playing that sport if they're confident and competent throughout their lifetime, which we're going to have healthier, happier people because they're engaging in physical activity long term. So we might see less girls that are overweight or obese. So at the moment we have almost a quarter of girls, 2 to 17 aged, who are overweight or obese. And over half of our women in Australia age aged 18 and over are overweight and obese. So hopefully if we get them doing physical activity, fundamental movement skills early on, they feel more confident to continue these and engage in these physical activities throughout their lifetime. So they're going to be healthier and not add to these. So we've established that our girls from a young age, aren't engaging in enough physical activity. Where are we going wrong with that? Why is that occurring? So research actually does show that girls who are wearing shorts and pants to school are more physical. They're more likely to engage in that physical activity out in the playground throughout the day because they don't feel uncomfortable, they don't feel exposed, just like their male counterparts. So we expect them to be doing these physical activities at recess and lunch, playing, mucking around, having fun, being active, running on the oval. But how can we expect them to do that when the only uniform choices that we offer is a dress or a skirt? I know I wouldn't feel very comfortable running around in a dress or a skirt. So there has been some research done throughout... Um, Australia where they have a look at how some students, some girls are performing physically, how much they're engaging in physical activity whilst they're wearing skirts and dresses and then if it changes with shorts. So once that is an option and they can wear shorts and pants, are they engaging in more physical activity? Are they happy about it? What do their parents think? So here we have from some of the bits and bobs and research that I've found, some testimonials um, and a bit of information about how they felt regarding only having short, uh, sorry, skirts and dresses offered as a uniform. So here it says 10 to 13 year old girls reported that their uniform restricted their ability to play at lunchtime. Um, somebody here said, uniforms hold me back from running. I would really like 
I wouldn't really want to play sport if I had a skirt on. Neither would I. I love to play chasings and I can't in a dress. It's because the dress is too narrow at the knees. They're just not comfortable, they're not practical. I really love kicking the footy, netball and doing handstands at recess and lunch, but it's annoying. It's annoying doing these things in a skirt. So that brings me to my initiative. My initiative here is to simply offer shorts, pants as an option in the uniform policy. Allow girls to have that choice. Allow them to have that freedom to wake up in the morning really looking forward to running around at recess and lunch with their friends and feeling comfortable doing so. Shorts, pants, that's all it takes. That's all it takes to hopefully see that physical activity level rising in young girls amongst our school, amongst our states and in Australia, and to see those obesity and overweight rates drop, to see those statistics of girls not being able to master fundamental movement skills as quick as their male peers. We want to see that, that statistic disappear. We really... I think that that's all, not all it will take, but I think that that's a really good starting point to get our girls, give them the best opportunity to be physically active within their young years. So within those that research, um, after they would offer the pants, the shorts to the girls, they got some quotes from... Um, school principals, parents to see their observations on how that was affecting, whether that was having an improvement on girls' attitudes to physical activity, their ability to um, engage in it. So Mr McGowan in a study had, he was a principal and he said that if you come into our school now, you'll see girls kicking a football and playing handball simply because they offered a pair of pants. Now, if I have any subjects like drama that require movement, I can choose an outfit that won't make me feel constricted. One girl that already feels so much more comfortable to express herself, to be active, to move her body, because they've offered pants. Olivia and Josie were so excited to wear their shorts to school for the first time. I'm ecstatic that now my girls feel comfortable enough to participate and engage with sports and activities at school. Just that level of comfort. So here I propose that we trial this for a term. Before we trial it, I want to do questionnaires of parents and of the girls in from K to 6. I want to see how they feel about the fact that we don't offer pants and shorts. I want to know how they'll feel during, whilst we're offering pants and shorts, and that's a choice that they can make every day to come to school, not in a dress or a skirt. And I want to see afterwards whether they want that to stick, whether they think that that's really improved their ability to engage in physical activity, whether it actually has, and whether this can actually make a big change like I think it can. So all I ask is a term. We write in the uniform policy that it is an opportunity, that it is available for students who would like to wear shorts, girls that would like to wear shorts and pants. Ask their opinions before, during and after our experiment of a term. And if it shows positive outcomes like I know it will, Let's make it stick and let's give these girls the opportunity to be as active as they possibly can and give them the best opportunity at life now at this time. So that brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for your time and I hope that this has made an impact.